What's up guys, Nate here with SimpleManStyle.com and today I'm going to be showing you how I wash my raw denim. Check it out. So I know it's been a while since my last upload, but in the month of August, I'm going to really try to get as many videos, some good quality videos out for you guys um, that I have planned up. Uh, my schedule will be free. I don't have any classes, so uh, be looking forward to more videos. Uh, but today we're going to be washing my raw denim. These happen to be from Gap. This is my first pair of raw denim that I have, that I've had. Um, I made a video on them uh, previously, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link in that. For that video in the description. Uh, I went with these because um, they're a good first pair of raw denim. Um, some real popular ones right now or that a lot of first timers seem to uh, be drawn to are the unbranded denim. Uh, those were my first choice but I could not find any of them in stores and I didn't want to order them online because I know that with my luck they're going to be like too tight or too big and then I'm going to have to send them back and then order another pair, it's just gonna take forever. You know, I want I want things now, you know, that's just how I am. So I, I found these at Gap, a really great pair, good quality. Um, they've got the selvage on the inseam. Uh, they've got some really nice fading right now. This rinse that we're gonna go through today will be the third rinse for these. Um, I've done one rinse about, um, probably about a year ago, or, yeah, my first rinse was probably about a year ago. And then I did a second rinse, which was going to be a video for you guys, but I didn't end up uploading that footage because it just wasn't uh, it just wasn't good enough. So I'm um, doing it again. Uh, going to show you guys the steps that I take, and this is how I do it. Um, I do it the the minimalist approach. I don't like to uh, put like the wool light. You'll hear a lot of people putting wool light soap to keep the the the, the indigo in there. Um, I used to want to do that. I wanted to keep the dark color because I wanted to dress up jeans, but honestly, I hate dressing up jeans. I think to me, it just looks funny. I'd rather wear a pair of chinos or uh, some slacks if I wanted to dress up. So for now, these, I am going to wash them. I'm trying to get as much fading um, into them as possible. So this is how I do it. Check it out. All right, so all you're really going to need for a simple rinse, like how I'm going to do, is just a tub, uh, your jeans, and um, a hanger, that's pretty much it. Um, you can use some wool light soap or some light uh, vinegar to uh, get some more cleaning action, but I think a good amount of warm water and a little bit of light scrubbing and uh, uh, squeezing will get the dirt right out. It's good enough for me, um, so let's check it out. All right, so real quick before we throw these in the shower, I want to show you guys the fades that have accumulated over the years. That's my wallet fade, that's probably my favorite fade of them all. Um, definitely looks good. Um, on the back, on the other side, we'll show my uh, phone. Uh, it's a light fade, but I think it still looks good. With a few more wears, I think it'll come in quite nicely. I don't always throw my phone back there, but um, it looks good to me. Um, some whiskering up in the front, I really like, and some fades on the buttons. Again, very light fades. I don't wear them too often. I try to wear them. It's hard to wear them in the summer because it gets really hot. But, and then some uh, honeycomb action in the back. But I never really noticed those until now, but very light, still looks good to me. Uh, so let's throw these in the shower. So as you can probably tell, this is not a tub, but we work with what we got. Um, it's a walk-in shower, and I just filled a mug with water and I put it over the drainage so the water wouldn't drain out. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to lay the um, the jeans in the water um, and weigh them down with something. In this case, I use some uh, some of my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and all that. Um, so you're going to want to lay the jeans in the water for about 15 minutes for the first time before you touch them. So lay them in the water, weigh them down with some soap. In this case, I use some uh, soap and shampoo and stuff, 
and you're going to want to weigh them down for about 15 minutes. This will get the water running through them and releasing a lot of the dirt that is accumulated in them. Um, after 15 minutes, um, what I'm going to do, this is what I do. I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to gently scrub them up and down on the front and on the back. And this, what this is going to do is it's going to release more of the dirt and also release some of the indigo um, that has been in the jeans. And this is going to show more of the fading and really give the jeans some nice character after we are done with the process. So I will check back with you guys in a second. What's up guys, so I'm um, back from the rinse and the dry off. Um, I actually did not leave them out in the sun because by the time I got done yesterday, the sun was already going down and then this morning it was raining until the afternoon. So I left them in my garage uh, to hang and then I brought them in, in this morning um, and I let them dry off more in my uh, bathroom. So I didn't get that sun effect. If there is some type of effect, um, I have to look more into that. But the jeans fit a little tighter. They still feel really good. They feel clean now. Um, the tightness will wear off. I they will start to stretch out a little more. So um, once they stretch out, they'll feel a little more comfortable. But other than that, I love the look. Um, as far as fading, they look a little lighter than before, uh, but not too light. I can still see some fades. I'm going to show you guys some video that I took and some pictures uh, to show you the fades that came in. But um, other than that, guys, that is how I rinse my raw denim. I look forward to getting more into raw denim. Um, I'm probably my next pair I want to get are either some Naked and Famous or um, some Nudies. Uh, I really love the look of those. So, so be looking forward to more videos about raw denim. Um, just getting into it. And I really love the lifestyle, lifestyle that comes with wearing raw denim. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Leave some uh, constructive criticism. I can handle it. I love to know how I can improve these videos. So uh, check back for more videos. Coming up. Shrink them back up a little bit and I don't like the way this clip is going.